All right, are you ready for FUN? Because we're gonna have a lot of it during the next eight weeks. Hey, each week of our course, you're gonna get a, a short video announcement just like this one plopped into your canvas in which I go over the week's work and point out what we're gonna be doing and try to give you some tips and tricks for managing the work and getting the most out of it that you can during that week. So you wanna make sure you always watch the short weekly announcement videos so that you're always staying on top of things. This week, we got a few things going on and to get started, you need to bounce your way over to our course canvas site if you're not already there. And once you're there, you wanna click on the module button. In fact, we're going to do a lot of our work, most of our work from modules. Um, so you want to get really comfortable with modules and just know that if you stay in the modules, you're going to uh, have an easier time staying on top of each week's work and it's going to go so fast. This is only an eight week course, so you want to make sure you do everything you can to stay organized. Once you pop into the modules, you'll see that there's two modules on the page. One is the course overview and that's where you want to begin. And when you click this link, it'll take you to a page where there's a series of short videos of me going over the course, what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, how you're going to be graded, everything I think you need to know um, about the course in order to know what you're getting yourself into and how we're going to do our work. So the first thing you want to do is you want to watch these videos. And if there's anything that comes up that doesn't make any sense or something you want to have clarification about, um, write that down because I want to know those things from you. Now you'll notice after you have watched these four videos that there's a link to a course overview quiz. Can you guess where the questions on that quiz come from? Yes from the videos. So a really smart strategy with all your quizzes for this course is to open up the quiz before you start watching the, the video lectures. And you can have the quiz open uh, in one window, have your uh, Canvas videos open in another window, and as you hear me discussing the subject of a question on the quiz, you can just click the answer and make sure that you get the correct answer and 100% on all your quizzes. So you'll open up that quiz and then you can pop down here and to watch these videos, you just click the little play button in the middle of the screen. Hey, what do you want to do here? And we're off to the races, all right? So you watch these videos, you'll take note of anything that you want further information about or anything that's confusing, and you'll be answering those quiz questions. And if you uh, have written down questions, things you want clarified or questions you have, you can bounce on over to our discussion board and you'll see that there is a discussion thread called questions about the course. What a great place to be posing your question. All right, so once you've gotten familiar with the course and you've posted any questions that you have and you completed your course overview quiz you want to bounce back into the, the modules page and you'll see that there's a second module here and in this module are links to a couple of assignments you need to complete this week thought primer number one and thought primer number two and you'll know exactly what those are once you've completed those course uh, overview video lectures. All right, so when you look at these thought primers, you'll see that one is due on Thursday by 11.59 p.m. and the other is due on Sunday by 11.59 p.m. Now these thought primers are super typical of the kinds of assignments you're gonna be doing each week. You're gonna do two thought primers almost every single week of the course and they're all gonna be structured in a very similar manner to the two thought primers that you're gonna be completing this week. So by the end of this week, by the time you've completed actually the first thought primer, you'll have a really good sense of what the rhythm and the pace and the workload um, for this course is. All right, so the idea behind the thought primers, and I'll explain this more in the course overview videos, is for you to begin by exploring your thinking where you're at right now before you've listened to me say one word to you, before you've done any reading. You wanna grapple with some questions that I've posed here. Okay, and so you can see in part one of the thought primer, I've posed to you four questions. And what you need to do is to explore your thoughts in response to those four questions and write those down. And you're shooting for at least a full double spaced typed page. If you wanna write more than that, that's great. The purpose of the thought primers is to kind of get your, get your thinking heated up, right? Get warmed up so that then once you've completed exploring some of these ideas, you can jump into a series of video lectures on the ideas we're talking about these weeks and the, the, this week. And the ideas that we explore in these video lectures will tie into the ideas that you were just thinking about and writing in response to up here. Now again, notice with the thought primers, 
and this will be the case for all of them, there's going to be multiple choice quizzes that you get two attempts and unlimited time on that are uh, about the video lecture. So again, a super smart strategy for getting these quizzes completed is to open the quiz before you begin the lecture, have the quiz open in a window, have the lecture open in a window, and then click the little red button and you're off to the races and you're watching a video lecture and you're taking notes of anything you want to talk to us about, anything that seems important to you, anything that's confusing or, or uh, you, you want to explore further with all of us because again we have this cool discussion board where we're going to be posting all kinds of neat questions to explore so um, take note of anything that you hear coming up in a video lecture that you think wait a minute I don't know if I agree with that or I think I've got a different way of thinking about this where it raises a question for me because those will be really valuable things to be posting to the discussion board so you'll complete these video lectures you'll complete the quizzes that are associated with them and when you get down here towards the bottom, you'll see that after the video lectures, you have some reading to do. And thought pattern number one, you're going to be reading Plato's Apology, which is what Socrates said um, before they killed him. Um, and so you'll read that apology. Um, you can print it out. Um, mark it up and again any questions any thoughts about the apology you can post those on our course discussion board of course as you're reading the apology you might want to have this quiz on the apology open so that you can be answering the quiz questions as you're doing the reading all right and when you're all done with your video lectures and you've submitted your responses to those initial four questions to me that's when the real fun begins because then you're going to bounce your way back over to the course discussion board and you're going to see that we've got a couple of discussion threads that are related to thought primer number one. And this is your opportunity to jump into the discussion and respond to something I've asked you, ask something on your own, or respond to something that one of your classmates has said. But as you'll learn in the course overview, it's really important each week that you be participating in the discussion that's taking place on the discussion board related to your thought primers. Okay, so make sure you watch those course overview, overview videos and that'll make more sense. Um, again, once you're done with thought primer number one and it's Thursday at 11 59 p.m. and you have turned it in you've participated in the discussion board that's when you can bounce over and open up thought primer number two which is on the Socratic method and you'll see this thought primer just like thought primer number one is set up uh, in the it, by uh, beginning by asking you to respond to some questions and explore some ideas and again as I think I'll tell you in the course overview video I am not concerned with what you think I'm concerned with how you think, and I'm super interested in how you come to the conclusions that you come to, but I'm not looking for you to just regurgitate back to me what you think I want to hear. That's really boring when people do that. So you want to be taking advantage of these thought primers as safe uh, and, and hopefully productive opportunities to explore some really important and big questions for yourself. And what your focus should be on the thought primer is making your thinking process clear to me, even if your thinking process leads you to just more questions or more uncertainty or feeling conflicted. That's a really normal response to the kinds of questions that we're going to be exploring. And so if you want to flesh out in your thought primers why it's so difficult for you to come to a position on a particular issue or why it is that you feel so torn, that's super interesting. All right. So thought primer number two, you're going to begin. You've got some questions to respond to. Again, you're looking for a, a full double space type page at least. More is even better. And then again, you've got some quizzes. You've got some video lectures to watch. And when you're all done with that and you're reading, that's when you you get to bounce on over to the course discussion board and we'll see that there are questions where is it related to thought primer number two and so you'll participate in those discussions all right it's going to be a fantastic course it's going to go really fast so you want to stay on top of things and as always email me with any questions you have any thoughts you have or even better yet post them to the discussion board because other people will likely have the same kinds of questions and will benefit from having you pose them to, in public to me so that everybody can see the answer all right have a fantastic week